Hi there, my name is Lorna Lee, and I'm here to show you how to create a Google profile with a custom vanity URL. Now, what is a Google profile and why do you care? Well, a Google profile is created when you register for a Google account to use any one of Google's many products and services like Gmail or Blogger. And you have now the opportunity to be able to make that profile page public because Google is displaying Google profile pages in people's search results. If you're concerned about managing your online presence, um, then grabbing a Google profile and customizing it is a wonderful opportunity. Um, you get two benefits from doing this. Number one, you can better manage your online presence. And number two, you can expand your web presence as well. So if you can imagine someone Google searching your name, um, all kinds of results might pop up. Every, anything from your blog to the, your bio page on your company website to your LinkedIn profile, sometimes um, you know, other references to what you've done um, uh, appear as well. Other people might have written about you or blogged about you. Um, anytime you might have participated on the web you know, through blog comments, for example, that can show up as well and sometimes there are even embarrassing search results. And if you don't have the ability to make a um, negative search result listing for your name go away or get deleted by the webmaster um, of that site, then your next best alternative is to create a positive web presence um, around who you are and uh, having a Google profile will help. Also, know too that with Google Universal Results, um, profile pages are now being displayed on page one of Google search results. So for a query on the name John Wiley, you can see at the very bottom in position 11, there is a one box result that shows all the people with the name John Wiley that also have a Google profile page that is public and available uh, to be found in search results. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to create a profile with a custom URL. I should also explain that um, if you already have an existing Google account, for example, your Gmail account is johnsmith at gmail.com, then you can go ahead and log in and create a profile um, within this account. Now, bear in mind that Google will stick your username at the end of your profile page URL. So you will have the URL google.com slash profiles slash John Smith. If that works for you, that's great. But for many competitive names, you don't have the benefit of having a Gmail account with your first name and last name. Or maybe you might want to have a keyword um, in your um, vanity URL. So in this case, you have to create a Google account with a different email address. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Okay, so down here, um, you can create a Google account, but use something like johnsmith at yahoo.com or hotmail.com. Go ahead and uh, use that as your username. Enter your um, password and your, um, you know, re-enter it, and then go ahead and submit that. It will, go ahead, it will actually send you a verification URL, so you're going to have to check your email and click on that and verify in order to activate your um uh, your Google profile. I'm not going to show you how to do that because I've already created one. So going back, we're going to log in with this account, search marketing salon at yahoo.com. And I'm going to go ahead and type in the password. Here we are in the profile page. You can enter your first name here, last name, anything you might want to have appear next to your name, like what you do. Change your photo right here, and then down below, you can add your bio right here, and then here is where you customize your um, Google profile URL. So I'm gonna add a custom URL um, and include my keyword here. And then go ahead, you can check on the availability right here, and then click on create a Google profile in order to activate your account. Um, Next, I'm going to show you how to trick out your Google profile page. So um, stay tuned. Thank you. This is Lorna Lee, and visit me at lornalee.com.